Um, gotta see. Gotta go find the beat Cassiopeia. Figured I might as well beat all those battles. And then I can go beat the gems. Or, uh, beat the... Beat the uh, Elite Four. But I've been... I've been putting it off a little bit, trying to beat the game, and I finally decided to beat it this weekend because one, you know, it's been about two months, and two, um, the new Hogwarts Legacy game comes out this week, and I'm very excited for that, and I'm planning on streaming that. I don't want to be streaming this and that, trying to balance all that with a little bit of time that I can stream each week anyway. So I figured I might as well try and go beat this game now. So I'm not trying to play it while also playing another game. And I probably still will stream when I do the post-game stuff, like the Area Zero stuff and everything. But I'm at least wanting to uh, wanting to go ahead and, you know, be done with the main story. And that's actually funny. So I, <laughs> I'm, uh, I took the quiz way back in the day, like when I was still in high school. Uh, I got Hufflepuff. But I actually did a stream not too long ago. I can make it nighttime. There's a sun going down. I don't really know. But I actually did stream not too long ago and I went ahead and redid the quiz because you can do the quizzes before you play and get your house and your um your wand and everything for the game. And when I took the quiz, you know, considering the fact that it was well over 10 years ago, last time I took it, you know, I've changed and stuff like that. So I actually got Gryffindor. So you know, I still, still hold Hufflepuff near and dear in my heart, but I will be playing the game. It's a Gryffindor. Um, so, you know, it, it's a bit, bit of a weird situation because, you know, I've kind of been sorted into two different ones. I didn't know what to expect when I did the quiz last time, but I was like, let me just, you know, see what I get. And, hey, got Gryffindor, so... Let me see. Okay, so where's the sun? What do I make at nighttime? Let's see. So I can't go face Cassiopeia. No worries. Always prideful of this. Absolutely, you know? That's what it was. It was really weird because it was like, yeah, you know. Like I said, I've always been like, oh yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. And then they were just like, I was like, let me take it again. And they're like, like, hey, you're not a Hufflepuff anymore. I'm like, well, that's new. But it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I guess while I wait on the, the day night cycle to, to pass, let me, let me see. Who needs more HP? Um, 21 can definitely use more HP. Do I have Lucky Berries? I only have two of them. Wait, so I can't use it on 21? Okay, so who out of those three has the least? Rabska. Okay. Okay, let's see. PP Max. What, um... A 10 on Liquidation, 10 on Bitter Blade, 10 on all of Rabska's. Yeah, I don't really care that much for Giga Ton of Hammer though, so. I think I need to give a PP up to. Let's do the PP max on. Nice. I was kind of surprised I didn't pull my way into Slytherin. What I mean by that is, I overthink all of. Things and give very calculated answers. Sometimes I mess with them out. I understand that, you know. That's why I tried very hard when I took it to not 
overthink the questions. I just looked at it and was like, okay, off the top of my head, um, you know, what, what would I say to this? And I tried doing that. It, uh, it, I definitely did feel like I overthought a, a few of them, but, you know, it is what it is. And hey, not bad. So what, uh, what house did you get, Rue? While I'm right here, let me see. Oh yeah, I haven't done my... I'm gonna hit the wrong button. Up, 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 okay. Yeah, see, and that's... So I have a theory that... They, uh... That the game... Um... Like, all those quizzes, at least back in the day, like when I first took it, and this is why... Like... It's like, maybe I'm not Hufflepuff. But I have a very uh, strong theory that, like, back at least when I first took the quiz, and it did feel like it had changed since the first time, but that it used to be if you didn't answer a few questions very specifically, they put you in Hufflepuff. Because for the most part, it's, you know, there's m multiple qualities of each one, but there was very few people that I talked to that didn't say they, were, they weren't Hufflepuff. Most, most everybody was like, oh yeah, I got Hufflepuff. So I was like, I think they're like, if you say, you know, answer this question correctly for Gryffindor, but then answer this one correctly for Slytherin, then it's like, oh, he doesn't have like a, you know, one that's like a set thing that we can determine, oh, that's, that's, you know, that. So then they'll just stick in Hufflepuff. It's my theory, at least. If that makes any sense. I know I just kind of rambled on a bit. But, you know. If you didn't answer multiple specific questions, like, in a specific way, then they were just like, okay, throw them in Hufflepuff. Was my opinion. Could be very wrong about that. But. It was like, the, I had so many friends that all of us were like, we're all Hufflepuff. And like, you know, not that Hufflepuff's bad or anything, but you know, Hufflepuff gets like no love in any of the... I was searching everywhere for that TM. You know, but Hufflepuff doesn't get much, like, info or anything, and, you know, doesn't get much extra. The only redeeming thing for it is that Cedric, one of, like, the, the really good guys in the books, was Hufflepuff. Besides that, it's like, okay, so what else is there? I'm just kind of trying to waste time right now until the sun goes down, because I want to battle Cassiopeia. But again, I could be wrong, and, you know, they could have it actually worked out where it's not. Which is not sometimes, I know. Well, I just saw those Pokeballs up there. I was like, there's got to be a way to make it up there now, right? And so I figured I just would keep trying until I did. I don't think I've ever been in here. I don't know what this place is. The absolute funniest question. I've had a few that I'm I don't understand how they happened. But uh what was yours? So have I gotten tandem mouse. Have I gotten okay I have gotten Nigglu buff. I didn't remember catching an igloo buff. Oh this is to the this is the Pokemon League. Guess what battle this guy will make there? I was a 90 degree angle and a mount which launched me literally across time. That's insane. It's actually way better than any of the ones that I got. I had multiple where the people just walked in the middle of my battle, you know, two Pokemon going at it and the guy's just like, oh, I'm just gonna wander right through. Um, I had one, wait, this is the dude on the way to the Pokemon League. And, um, had one where my uh my the one that I have named Mjolnir I can't remember what it's actually called evolved after a titan battle and it was the one where you battled the uh the sushi and the whale and so you know you're floating on the water as you battle it so 
so since I was floating on the water, you know, my Pokemon sitting on a pedestal type thing in the water, and then it, as it evolved, it stayed on the pedestal, and then another one of it appeared on the side and evolved. It was very strange. Watch this dude's like, yeah, level like 60. Yeah. Went from that last battle, which was, you know, I just normal train like, oh hey, yeah, you're you're going to take on the Pokemon League to Yeah, we're gonna have a full on trainer that's a you know in-game trainer battling you. Well, I was hoping to battle Cassiopeia before the next ad break, but this game is not seeming to want to do it. Bronzong. Um, yeah. Let's go Icy. Hit Crunch on it. Let's go into Donzo. Yeah, those... I, I couldn't remember exactly the names of them. I knew it was something like that, but I didn't want to butcher them. That's it. Yeah, that's scary. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to butcher them. I wasn't thinking about the fact that he was strong on ice there, but, you know, we're good. We're good. Speaking of that, I need to get my type effectiveness chart out. Cerule Edge. Um, I'm going to send Jack back out. So, I've been playing Pokemon for the longest time. I feel like, you know, it's, yeah, and obviously, I, like I said, I took some time off of it. I still have so much trouble remembering type effectivenesses. So I, I like to uh, keep a type, type effectiveness chart up while I'm playing just to be safe. You're looking competitive, they can't be tricky. Really? I've never really played competitive Pokemon. I've thought about it, but, you know, I just never really... I don't have the time. Wait, is that a shiny? Is that a shiny over there? Isn't that what the shiny of that one looks like? Or was it just a shadow? I thought the shiny was like a brown. Okay, it wasn't. Okay. We're good. See, the shadow, like, because I, I think the, the shiny for that thing is brown. So, since there wasn't, like, any light on it, it almost appeared like it was, like, darker. And I've had that happen to me quite a lot. But I, uh, think of Pokemon's, it's shiny and it's not. So, I had a story behind it. I, uh, you know, Quaxley looks like a little Taylor duck. And so, before they had even shown the final evolutions or anything, when I had seen Quaxley, I was like, I, I hope and I think the final evolution is going to be a, um, pirate. And I was like, a pirate duck. Jack Sparrow. I was like, it's perfect. And unfortunately, it's not a pirate, so it doesn't go as well as I'd hoped. But I still really like the, the name. I thought it was very clever. So, you know, I, I went ahead and kept it. And I was like, it's close enough for me, you know. Let me see. Okay, I'm all healed up. Almost there. Almost nighttime. Okay, yeah, because I doubt it's going to work now. Let's go inside and then come back out. But yeah, I appreciate it. I thought it was really funny. You know. You know, I thought I was being clever with it. So, so to get to get that phrase, I appreciate it. <laughs> I haven't been to any of these. You know, let me, uh. You have to think Jack Sparrow is theatrical and it's final. You know, that is a good point. Jack was very, honestly, I, the, the best term for it, in my opinion, is flamboyant. He was very, you know, yeah, very theatrical, flamboyant type thing. And yes, that's very much how, how Book Wobble is. So, you're right. You're right. It is still fitting, even though it's not what I was going for. Okay, if, is this nighttime? Sure seems like this is nighttime to me. In the dark of night. Okay, so it's not quite the dark of night yet.
I'm gonna go back in and then come back out. Oh, so like, yeah, absolutely. You know, it still is very fitting. So that's a good point that you know, this may be my final stream of the of the main story of this game, and you know, just coming to that realization. So good call there. Yeah, I like it. This is the dark of night, is it not? Okay. I'm gonna keep going back and forth until, until I get it, you know? Until I can hit this battle. These ads for a minute. Cassiopeia. I don't know if that's actually how you're supposed to say it. That's my how I read it, and it makes sense with how it's spelled. But you know, I could be very wrong with saying it that way. So this is actually kind of annoying. How you have to come like at a specific time, like you know, in other Pokemon games and stuff. I feel like. If you had a time-based event, it would heat. It would change the the time for you. You know, in this situation. So, go ahead and reset the location real quick. Messi goes though. We're back at the academy. This sure looks like the dark of night, if you ask me. Counting the dark of night against in the schoolyard. I'm in the schoolyard. Unless I have to go to a different location. What is the last battle you did here? Uh oh yeah. Not like my idea with Rabska. Hey, that's that's a solid name for it though. Um schoolyard. Oh, there we go. Um I, I battled uh, Clive. There we go. Okay, we're here. We're here. Damn. Cassiopeia. That's Penny. I was wondering, because she seemed like through the through the trailer and stuff, she was going to have a big part of the story. But all she did was just deliver me stuff. I want that backpack. The backpack is sweet. You're not Cassiopeia. You're Penny. Now, this must be quite a shock for the big boss Cass Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get, get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live one. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Let's do it. Come get some, Penny. Slash Cassiopeia. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology this time had me, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. Voice, are you live, Penny? So, it was you. After all. Uh, no, I mean, is that Cassiopeia? Turn it up. Okay. Her theme is so good. I think it gets a bit louder. Honestly, but... Let's see. What would, I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Let's do it. They have had some absolute bangers for themes lately, so... I'm the big boss Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming my Team Star's founder. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty awesome.
That's sweet. You're right. This song is an absolute banger. Dang, couldn't get the KO. Oof, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Wow. I've turned up my headphones. Got my headphones turned down a little bit. Jolteon. She just have all the. I guess that makes sense. She has the EV backpack. She'll have all the EVs. That does make sense. Well, I'm about to Oko or Jolteon, so. Ooh, actually, I just realized if she goes Vaporeon next, I can leave Claude Sire out. So I tried to be original with all my, my names. So Claude Sire is named Lion because. You know, it's it's a poisonous fish. Even the whopper's not a fish anymore, or whooper's not a fish anymore. But, you know, technically, the original whooper was like a fish, and a lionfish is a very technically venomous fish, not poisonous. But you know, I thought it was original. Go ahead and hit me with a water gun or whatever, even hydro pump. Go ahead and hit me with it. I got water absorbed. Come on. Just gonna drop my attack. It's fine. I mean, I think Trailblaze is special. No, probably is. I mean, I've seen it a decent amount, but uh, what's in, what's your name for it? Let me hit it with a poison jab. Just see, zoomies. That's that's solid. That is very solid. <laughs> Can I get the poison? Thank you. <laughs> I told her, hit me with a hydro pump. Yeah, this song is an absolute banger. Oof, yeah, there it is. There's the... Poison, please. That thing keeps up with you on your right, but I'm gonna have full dash. That's insane. If it can keep up with you that much, then that's kind of crazy. Absolute banger. Clarion. I can keep... Wait, I'm just about to have freaking Flawed Sire just run through a whole team. My attack is dropped though, so this won't do as much. Yeah. That shouldn't do a lot though. Never mind, that did a lot. Hmm. I mean, all I have is Jack that can hit it super effective, so. Yeah, he does kind of have the arm movements like Jack Sparrow, so. And this, you know, the walk. Kind of Jack Sparrow's walk. It's, I think it's pretty solid. Leafy on. Yeah. Let's let 21 get a little bit in here. Solid team of all evolutions. That's pretty awesome. I bet that's why. Which, they didn't add a new evolution this for this game, and I mean, I've been wanting a new I know a lot of people want one. So, but I bet because... Well, no, because there's technically more than six. But they could have had the Evolution had it be the ace of our team, you know? In my opinion, at least. There we go. One more. You know, Glaceon, you're gonna have Sylveon. Sylveon. Okay, so Barry gets hit twice by steel. So Mjolnir's turn. Unfortunately, she's gonna 
He's probably going to. Uh, I can't play on your basketballs at all. No wonder the boss has felt your hands. This is definitely going to be a uh, what's it called? Um, uh, the terastalize. But my terastalization won't help because it's fairy type. So. One thing I wish, and I'm, this may be a hot take, but I wish that more big battles, they had shiny Pokemon. Just imagine if, if Penny had pulled out a shiny Sylveon right here. That would have been sweet. Whoa. I was saying how I don't like Gigaton Hammer, and it does that for me. For now, 30k. There we go. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Shoot down Team Star. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. What up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. You got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of boys in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. We didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the boys made a huge thing about what went down, and then they all decided ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired, especially or epically. There's no way we're getting off scot free. Throughout the little stunt, must might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. I'm going to start Team Star. I dragged you on this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, no, blood and kind, big boss, you cannot. Now that the boys are gone, you guys should start going to school again. I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? I can tell you guys this. Thanks. Even though we met, we never met in person, you were also kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? Let me go take care of some things. Please speak to us. What is thine intention? Answer us. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Cam, and you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss I. Penny, I'd like to check something with you first. Why well, research something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. I not simply order them to. Our code says that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. Let's back to the code once again. The boss must have taken it very seriously. Well, I know I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband because the bosses would do anything the code required them to, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Let me ask you one thing: What does Team Star know? What do you, do your friends in the team mean to you? They're they're my greatest treasure. Chief Bounder Treasure. Rising me of the situation, Miss Penny. Well, I am way there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. What about the old geezer act? Why you're creeping me out? You'd well then before we talk further, let me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Aha! Director Clavel? The boy you knew as Clot was mine, but but why? I need to talk to Team Star on equal terms. As soon as you tend to shy from speaking to their their mind to their teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Was that often a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <laughs> well, that's quite enough of that now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Team Star? The leaders? Hmm? Long 
time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Bar barely is thy long hidden continents a sight for sore eyes, my lady. I guess quit speaking like ye old day, so um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? 40? We found it last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Eerie. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two... Hasta star, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. Yeah, at the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. And again? Back at the Academy, I let you down. My handling your situation was a dismal failure. Well, I still don't... I mean, why? Y'all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first day as a director, I, all I've ever met, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. Because yeah, y'all, and none of this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and, of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. So, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Yeah, y'all are coming back to school. Can't continue to exist, should that be your wish? Can continue. And isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with the glee. But I betrayed all of you. I mean, Operation Starfall Director Pavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through, through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Like we'd ever ch chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all, in our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. We just say the requirement team sort of span has been revoked. However, there are still more unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You pr protracted truancy. Your brazen customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized uses of academy equipment. Next modification, Jeopardy is driving a Pokemon powered vehicle. So need I go on the flagrant describe school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Whew. Now you're expelled. <laughs> you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STC. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. That will be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them. In collaboration with the Pokemon League, the idea came to me when I saw Master Game battling his way through your bases. Basic construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students and Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I'd ask that you continue your team activities with henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And this is some of it. Does anyone have any concerns? I like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. You were going to say since STCs are supposed to be a punishment all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It's true, we would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too, that way if anything happens we'll be there to protect you. We are talking about how, it, how it great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. I think it sounds great. Um, but, but, um, I just... At this moment, Miss Penny, do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Uh, not to say that you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it. It's time to leave. Nice. So. Stop by his office. I guess let me go ahead and do that. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to run an ad here in a minute anyway. Or a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. Run an ad and go refill my water and had to let that play out 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna go refill my water, take a quick restroom break and stuff while I run an ad break, and I'll be right back. I'll go to the director's office and then we'll go take on the Elite Four. Y'all bear with me for just a minute and I'll be back. 